To install the X6100 light load flight platform, the following paths are required. Drone frame, motor seat, control system, power system, and some necessary tools. Install drone frame. Unpack the motors and the drone frame boxes. All mounting parts are included for quick installation. Remove the drone cover and the flight control board. Flip the drone body. Install the battery bracket and fix it. Flip the drone body again. Install the drone legs and tighten the screws. Install lateral leg fixing tubes. Install the battery board. Pay attention to the direction of the battery board slot. The screw knob towards outside and fix it with screws. Then fix the battery board on the slot. Turn the body over, press the body to make the body level. Adjust the T to make it centered and tighten all the screws. Install the drone arms and the motor seat. Put the locking cap on the arm. Then pass the cable of E5 motor into the drone body through the arm tube. Install the arms clockwise from the head, that is M1 to M6. Install the motor as shown in the figure. After the arm is inserted into the drum body, tighten the arm locking cap and fix the screw. Then insert the power cable into the distribution board and install the rest of the arms by the same way. Install flight control. When installing the flight control board, pay attention to the arrow. Expose the motor signal wire and insert the wire into the DuPont female seat. Use 3M glue to fix the main control. Use a servo cable to connect the main control to the pin header on flight control board. Fix the PMU module. Insert the power cable into the distribution board and insert the signal cable into the main control power port. Fix the GPS on the bracket. The signal wire is inserted into the main control GPS port. Install the receiver. Connect the receiver's TR port to the link port. Connect the SPUS port to the RC port. And insert the antenna into the specified molting holes. Fix the LED and then insert the plug into the main control LED hole. Then use 3M glue to fix the receiver on the board. The last step, restore the cover. Flight debugging. Level the assembled drone and the motors and tighten the screws. All six motors need to be horizontal. Text it by the multimeter for short circuit. Then put in battery bank. Measure the battery voltage 25.1 voltage. Turn on the remote control and power arm. Open the HTL tool. Click the advanced options. Enter the password and click the adjust parameters. Only set channel 6 as the A and save it. Open the Angry Assistant APP. Directly enter the password to log in. Then click the menu in the upper right corner. Click the RC calibration and calibrate the up, down, left and right levers to confirm the joysticks can be used normally. Then click the get set. Channel 6 set as back and RC mode set as mode 1 and save it. Click the second icon on the left. Click compass calibration in the sensors page. Rotate the drone horizontally until the LED light turns green. Erect the drone. Continue to rotate until the LED light flashes. Then put down, power off and on again to complete the calibration. Then set the battery parameter. The mirror wall input the actual voltage previously measured 25.1 voltage. Enter 8888 for advanced settings and click the install position. Don't need adjust. Click the frame. X6100 is a 6-axis type. Select the right one. Set sensitivity. Click base sensitivity. Read and save. At the end, click the about. The map type. Select auto navy maps in China. Google maps in other countries. And a remote control type set as H12. Then the flight control has been finished. Flight test. Power off. Install the panels on the motor. Tighten the screws. Note that the panels should match the motors. Then power on and test. Dial the levers 45 degrees down to the center to unlock. Turn the right joystick counterclockwise to check the motor rotation. After that, turn the joystick forward, backward, left and right to test the flight performance. Then X6100 light load flight platform has been assembled wheel.